today I want to get into a time when Jungkook freaked out when cooking. I want to get into a dispatch posting about Jungkook dating and what happened there. And then I want to get into a brand company that apologized for something they did to Jungkook. So hey dumb, this is Dave Desai. Hey or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab it some blunt, he's spilling mug merch and let's go. Jungkook recently has been good at updating us and giving us a look into his life, or at least his daily activities. He has recently made sure to show a lot of the activities he likes to do on the daily by live streaming, and a lot of that is cooking. He has shown us a lot of different fun recipes and a lot of products that has shown that he uses or eats ends up getting a huge increase in sales. For brands like Samyang, it would be quite difficult for BTS members to sell out any specific product because these are not small brands. These are huge household name brands. So even if they get an influx of a million orders tomorrow, they have the factories and resources to fulfill those orders super fast. But brands automatically notice an increase in any specific product being talked about and a sudden slight bump in sales. So recently when Jungkook talked about his love of the Japanese brand Kikkoman's Super Base, you typically can just add water to the soup base, vegetable broth, whatever you want, and then you can have it. So Jungkook was excited to show this specific product and how much he uses it, and then was also excited that the product expired on his birthday. Kikkoman noticed an increase in sales and they decided to tweet out thank you to Jungkook for recommending said product. Kikkoman is actually more well known for their soy sauce, so this is definitely one of their more niche specific products that maybe is more upcoming. So Kikkoman was likely thankful for Jungkook's recommendation. When Kikkoman tweeted out thank you to Jungkook, they made sure to use Jungkook in the hashtag and right away people noticed that they spelled Jungkook's name incorrectly. They wrote Jungkook with only one O instead of two. And there were some comments talking about this, but K-pop fans in Japan are a lot kinder. So they were just kind of kindly letting Kikkoman's social media team know about the mistake. Very quickly, Kikkoman decided to issue an apology and they posted a photo of the staff writing Jungkook's name correctly like a bunch of times. And of course, we also see the soup base in the photo as well. They posted the photo to apologize for the initial tweet's mistake of spelling Jungkook's name wrong and it's actually super cute. Of course, the apology is necessary as Kikkoman would be very excited to get a shout out from Jungkook, but probably not as excited to see Kikkoman get Jungkook's name wrong. This is probably one of the only times we have seen where I would say the social media team deserves a raise and that they not only apologize with grace but it actually makes the audience love the brand and product more. It seems like between both the initial tweet and the apology this made people actually want to buy the product even more. And of course not only did a ton of people go on the site and buy the soup base but likely a bunch of other people went to pick up some of their grocery items like soy sauce. We all know Jungkook loves food. He loves eating and definitely loves cooking as well. We've not only been able to see him cook during a live stream, but it's also been a pleasure to watch him cook during reality shows as well. During, I believe, episode 102 of Run BTS, the boys got a chance to cook and we got to see V and Jungkook cooking together. People felt like the two were acting like an old married couple with the way they would argue and bicker about the cooking. There was definitely a lot of chaotic energy there and the premise of this episode was that the other members would be able to tell V and Jungkook how to cook as they all watched from another room. Jungkook loves to cook, so naturally he probably watches a lot of cooking videos and has learned over the years. For V, this was before he was actually on Jinny's Kitchen and so he actually didn't really have much real world or restaurant experience at the time. V ended up frustrating Jungkook with one thing that he was doing and I thought it was so funny. V was just washing the vegetables and V actually decided to clean the scallions or green onions and I think Jungkook was noticing that V was actually taking too long. Jungkook decided to ask V to move aside and let Jungkook go ahead and quickly clean it. I am the same way in the kitchen as well and when working at a restaurant I get semi-territorial so I do like to do everything as I have my own method to the madness. Jungkook likely just wanted to get everything done much quicker and especially if he knows he can move quicker and V is moving slower it can be a bit irking to see someone move so slow. When Jungkook touched the water he noticed that the water was piping hot and asked V why he chose to wash vegetables in hot water. And so Jungkook had to turn the water cooler. In case you're wondering, no there is no issue with washing veggies in hot water. It's actually not considered a bad idea as the point of washing your veggies is to clean the dirt off and hot water will definitely do that. 
Jungkook was likely upset by this because he wasn't expecting it to be that hot and maybe he felt like his hands were burning. I typically hate doing the dishes or washing things with super hot water. It's really painful. Although I'm weird because I like cooler showers to cold showers. But anywho, people thought this was so funny and this was kind of like Jungkook got scared and then was like saying, why do this? As in, why wash veggies like this to V? And it's always so funny to watch each member react to certain things that maybe we'd relate to as well. These reality shows are always fun and I do react to a bunch of them over on Patreon. We currently have a $1 tier with limited spots that is open. It's always such a blast over there. I will link more info on that in the description if you want to check it out. But V and Jungkook actually have a lot of random and cute moments together that are often talked about a lot and definitely a bit more recently. So what happened? Well, Jungkook and V actually attended a movie premiere together. They attended the dream movie premiere and this premiere was for V and I think Jungkook then went as a plus one. The internet erupted with Taekook and Taekook is dating and all those things and then others just thought it was cute that the two were just there to support and V was asking Jungkook to join because he wanted moral support for something that is a big deal for V's career. And if Jungkook wasn't doing too much then why not go? This became suspicious to some people when Dispatch posted Taekook separately from the other people in the cast on Instagram. And if you are not aware, Dispatch is responsible for announcing couples every year and over the years they've gained credibility because they are sometimes correct about who is dating who. So much so that people look forward to the beginning of every year to see who they will announce is dating that year. And Dispatch is also known to follow idols, so people definitely believe they're reporting more. So people were saying since V and Jungkook were posted separately, it must mean dating. However, you still have to keep in mind Dispatch is a media and news site. Their goals are to get people coming back and read their stories. The fact of the matter, posting V and Jungkook together garners a lot of attention. So much so that the photos with V and and Jungkook together garnered over 1 million likes. Keep in mind most photos on Dispatch's account on the day to day typically get under 500,000 and usually much less. So they were correct that posting V and Jungkook would get people's interest. This became an even bigger deal when Dispatch also posted on their YouTube channel. They posted an edit of V and Jungkook at the movie premiere red carpet and decided to put the emoji of two men holding hands in the caption. Dispatch has done this before allegedly in 2018 where they posted a photo of V and Jungkook taking a picture of the sunset together to also add a holding hand emoji. So many people think this was Dispatch way of confirming it. But what is interesting to me is that Dispatch isn't typically shy about announcing these sorts of things. They would typically drop this news right away if it was confirmed or if they were a thousand percent sure. I think they haven't announced anything because they're not a thousand percent sure yet. I think they know that the two together garner a lot of attention and they know talking about a relationship gets a lot of attention. And I say this as a way to say that the media will do what they need to do to get attention. So keep in mind that there is that incentive behind everything that they do and there's a reason why they would play towards that specific fan culture. By they I mean dispatch. Doesn't mean it's not true, doesn't mean it's true, it means it's not confirmed. And also keep in mind that dispatch is not in Fallible. I think this is something that I want to say as a general disclaimer about that media site. It was allegedly believed that Dispatch was wrong at least once when they announced Lee Jong Shuk and Park Shin Hai were dating. Dispatch posted the news article and very soon the label actually came out to deny that the two were dating to say that the two were just really close friends. Of course, Dispatch fired back with more photos of Park Shin Hai taking extra precaution when visiting Lee Jong Shuk than she does with the other guy friends. But then the two idols denied it. They just said that the two were very close. And regardless of dating or not, two idols of opposite genders still need to do this because it will become a dating rumor even if it's not. And if the two are saying that they're not dating, I have to choose to believe that they're not. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this little bit comment right here. Love you. Bye.